everybody, it's Mama J. Inspector. We are here with two different boxes. <laughs> First of all, this box is open <laughs> because when it arrived, I was like, what did I order from Galactic Toys? I said, I haven't ordered from Galactic Toys since... We got a mystery box, like an anime mystery box from them or something. Yeah. I don't even remember which one. Is that the one? That's the one you got your Broly in, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was when we got the Chase Broly and we were quite surprised. And that was like the first month we started doing videos last year. It was our biggest pop. Yeah, it was our most valuable and biggest pop. Um... But yeah, and I had placed an, or an order with multiple things because everybody knows me. I'm cheap. I try to get free shipping. And so um, I had ordered a few other things, but then they didn't come. And when I tried to look up the order, it didn't really show on Galactic Toys. And out of the blue, this box showed up four months later. Now, I do know that two of the pops when I ordered them, they were pre-orders. But I also know those pops have dropped over a month ago, at least. Oh, easily. Okay. So, again, I opened this because I wasn't sure what it was until I looked at it. So what we got in this box was... We got the Batman pop. <laughs> um, and we actually purchased this pop. So, because I didn't think it was going to ever come. And I couldn't find any proof that I actually paid for it. And... Um, so it must be on one of my other credit cards that I didn't look at, but I'm not sure. But either way, we got this pop. Showed up out of the blue. This pop we went hunting for. And couldn't we, find it. And couldn't find it. And we just and we did find it and bought two. And we just gave away the second one in our 400 subscriber giveaway. Yep. And then another one showed up. <laughs> so another MTV Moon Person pop. Um, oh man, I've been waiting for that pop for a while now. A long while we've been waiting for this pop. Like I said, again, I Where thought I imagined sure. ordering it. <laughs> and last but not least, which hopefully this didn't sit around for four months, I guess I can check the date on it, not like I might eat it anyways. Um, Aquaman cereal. And I know that this was ordered... This is expired. Zero nine. Take the look at that. So I'll be contacting them since I just got this in. Um, the cereal is already expired in it, and it was expired like the month I ordered the box. Yeah. Okay, and it's not like I'm going to eat the cereal, but originally I ordered this um, because it was going to be part of a giveaway that we were doing back when we were doing the Aquaman stuff. But it never showed up. And not the Aquaman box, but the Aquaman minis that we did yeah. originally. Um, but I can't believe it's expired. They sent me expired cereal. How am I supposed to eat this? Not that I'm going to eat it anyways, because everyone says it tastes really bad. <laughs> well, I can eat it, get sick, and we can... <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that four months later, um, these items showed up expired so let's move these to the side now this box there's a story to go with this box um we watched a cheap and nerdy video the other day and they had ordered pops from grails gone wild and I know that Brittany had made a couple comments about shipping issues and having to ask for a refund. Um, but then the pop showed up. So I had never heard of the company, so I looked them up. And I said, oh, let me look them up and see, you know, where they're at and what kind of mystery boxes they have. Well, it turns out they're, what, 20 minutes down the road from us? If even 20 minutes. With no traffic. But, you know, again, we are in California, so... We don't judge by distance, we judge by time. Yeah, so with traffic... It's about an hour. Yeah, without traffic, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. So, but it's not too far. And so when I got on and looked, I seen that they had free pickup. Again, I'm cheap. I don't want to pay for shipping. 
I always try to avoid shipping. Everybody knows that. So I thought, wow, free pickup. I'll order four mystery boxes from them. So I ordered four boxes and, you know, set up the free pickup. So then I called them and say, do I need an email confirmation? Can we just come down and pick up the boxes? And the guy tells me we have to wait five days after ordering because when you order for them to be shipped, they wait seven days to ship them. So that's probably why shipping takes so long. But if you're purchasing them and you want to come in for the pickup, you got to wait five days. And he said what he told me was because the boxes are all different sizes and when the people come in to pick them up, they try to pick and choose which boxes they want, which really didn't make sense whether it was day one or day five. You should be giving me my boxes because they should be random. Right? So um, I said, okay, not a problem. He said, you can come on Wednesday and pick them up. I said, no, I can't. Wednesday's Christmas. You won't be open, will you? And he said, oh, no. Go ahead and come on Tuesday. And I said, well, I'm retail manager. Probably not going to happen. So we drove down there Thursday, the day after Christmas, stating they were open. We got there. I know this is kind of a long story. We got there and... Um, they were closed. So we tried to contact them, got no contact. After we left and headed home and to run some other errands, I got a text message from them because I did send them a text besides calling. They said you could text. And the guy apologized, said they were robbed or something right before Christmas. So they were a little leery about going back in, but that he would ship me my pops for free. And I said, okay, no problem. He'll ship them. They'll be here in a day because we're so close. Yeah. Days went by. Even did priority one day. Yeah, but days went by. And so then I contacted him again and I said, hey, I said, are you going to ship the pops or do I need to make arrangements to come out there again? Because now my gas is going to cost what the shipping would have cost me, even though it wasn't far, but with traffic. And he says, no, no, he goes, I'm going to ship them and I'll throw in an extra one. So... This is our box from Grail's Gone Wild. <laughs> so we're just going to open it up because I'm not really sure if there's five boxes in here or uh, five loose pops or I'm not sure how it's set up. Okay, but it's supposed to be four mystery pops that we purchased and one mystery pop thrown in. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and cut this open. I guess it doesn't matter whether you cut it open from the top or the bottom. Snowman poop. <laughs> all right. Well, this is what the box looks like on the inside. I don't want to turn it too much because I don't want them all to fall out. So you can't really see. You can eat packing peanuts. No. If they are edible. Um. Well, they're all just wrapped in bubble wrap. So we'll just pull one out. There's one for you, Specter. And oh, they're kind of stuck in there. There's one for me. Let's go ahead and open them and see what we got. So they're kind of supposed to be mystery boxes, but obviously they're kind of hand-picked and put in there, I'm assuming. Or maybe they come in individual boxes, and when they put them together, they just open them and throw them in there. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. I do know, though, it took me... I don't know, a little over a week and a half to get these boxes. Took a while. They were ordered on. They were ordered on uh, the week before Christmas. Yeah. And we didn't get them till after New Year's, or picked right at up, New picked Year's. Picked them up the day after New Year's. Yeah, you picked them up. That's right. You picked them up the day because after. Because they were New signature Year's. required and. Yeah, and we weren't here because we. And we have Ariel. Oh, that's cute. In her. Uh, Dress and her dress. Yeah. What she else doesn't... is she gonna be in? Well, well I guess she is a mermaid. In her flippers. She's not in her flippers. She's in her dress. Um, this one is Mummy Spirit. Um, haunted, haunted Mansion. Mansion. It's actually a cool pop. Oh, he's actually inside a little um. Well, he looks like he's uh, in a coffin. Yeah. Yeah. Although, does he have a teacup? He does. Um, 
Oh, he does have a teacup. Hmm. That's actually really cute. I don't even know if I've ever seen the Haunted Mansion. Um, you've been in the Haunted Mansion. I've been in the Haunted Mansion. Is there a I'm... movie called the Haunted Mansion? Well, yeah. Where does it come from? It Is comes from a... the Disneyland Haunted Mansion. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a movie, The Haunted Mansion. I think it had Eddie Murphy in it. Oh, you know what? You might be right. We'll have to look that up. All right, well, here, I'm looking at this one, so I'm going to pull this one out and give it to you. And I'm going to pull this one out. Without the peanuts. Actually, let me just go ahead and take the next one out. And the rest is just packing peanuts. Um, yeah. Hate packing. And I have Fire Jack Jack. Oh, didn't we get um, another Jack Jack at one Incredibles point? Two. Yeah, we got Monster Jack Jack. Yeah, he's already gone. <laughs> he has like multiple powers. Does he? Yeah, he can like go to a different he's dimension. He's the littlest one, right? He's the baby yeah. baby. Yeah. He can go to like a different dimension. He can phase through objects, laser eyes. Well, this one's in a pop protector. Must be worth something. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. It's. It's in a pop Hang protector over. backwards. <laughs> um, it's Alan and Baby Carlos. Honestly, I'm not sure I've ever even seen The Hangover. I think I've seen the first one, but that might even be a stretch. Uh, it's in pretty good shape, actually. Yeah, that's in really good shape. That's actually in really good shape. And I'll let you open the last one. Because I don't think that one's... This is the only one I think in a pop protector. Oh, I got a fall convention exclusive. Uh-oh, what'd you get? Looks like a bird. Might be. It looks like a... Yeah, it does look like a bird. Bubble wrap. Augury from... Crimes of... Oh, Ren Griswold. Griswold? Yeah. Whatever that is. It's a movie. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it. I know it was on my want to watch list, but I haven't watched it yet. So that's actually kind of cool. All right. So obviously we bought four boxes. We got five, but we got one in a pop protector. So um, we're going to look up some value here on these pops and see what they're worth. So let's go ahead and go down the line. Okay. So for Ariel... We're just going to use the Funko app because it's the quickest. Oh, she's worth $9. Okay, fast. Actually, putting it down, I did realize there is some damage right here. Oh, really? Yeah, putting it down, my thumb went right on it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, you can see the damage on that box. Okay, so Mummy Spirit is worth $12. That's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I think that's about what the boxes were running. Yeah, and the sticker says twelve fifty, so we only lost fifty cents of value. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Oh wow, he is worth uh, augury is worth seventeen dollars. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Maybe because he's a. Oh wait, you know what though? Oh. Fall convention exclusive. So this is the... Unfortunately, we were using the... Yeah, the share sticker will say fall. Oh. They give seasons. So actually, I need to go to PPG and see his price. If I were like 12. Okay, so he's worth $10. Not too bad. Not bad. I mean, so far we're taking a little loss, but not much. And then fire Jack Jack. Is he scannable? Yes. Actually, it looks like he's kind of like... They took the pop and then they put like a mold like thing around him. Because like you can oh, see the yeah. seam. So like That's you could crazy. probably even like pop open the seam and <laughs> take out normal Jack Jack. Take out a normal Jack Jack. Two pops in one. Okay, well Jack Jack is worth fifteen dollars. That's not bad. Oh he's the most valuable one. Yeah. Well, now we're gonna check the pop protector one. So what do we got here? Fifteen is our highest? Yeah. So he's got to be worth more than, well, the date on him says 
July. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that means 16 or 12. I'm not sure how to read these. It's 1206.16. No, because that's July. Right? Oh, oh no. It's that's JJL. True. I've never seen two J's and an L in July. <laughs> I should know that because that's when my birthday is. But I'm assuming he's got to be worth more than 15. Okay, he was released in 2013. It says he's vaulted. Okay, so like what, 30 bucks? Um, no, it says he's worth $190. That's this pop, right? Yeah. Okay, let me check the other one. He always picks on me because I, I, I'm always surprised when we hit something like this. She's going to check like seven different websites. I'm not going to check seven. She's going to call a Funko representative. <laughs> that is not true. I just. And then the Funko representative is like, no, it's, it's 1250 when we sold them. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm telling you. Um... You clicked it three times. Let it load. It's worth $190. Wow. Well, now we know where Grail's gonna... gone wild. <laughs> wow. And this pop, like we said when we looked at it, is in really good condition. Wow. So, what, this week we've hit two pretty decent hits? Yeah. And, um,. We're not keeping either of them, so they'll be on no, the I, for sale page. No, this is not a pop we would keep. So, and again, anything over a certain value, I don't trade. I only sell. You know, smaller value pops that we don't keep, I will do a trade for. But higher value pops, um, anything over like usually $30, $35 um, is usually a sale, not a trade. Wow. So he'll be listed up for sale if anybody's interested. I'm I'm shocked. That's two we've hit. Yeah. 190 bucks. And how much was the last one I hit? One ten. Ten. Was the Pefio? Yeah, the the boxing one. Yeah. Wow. All right. So maybe this company was worth waiting for. <laughs> Yeah. You know? Well, that's why it was signature required. Yeah, it could be true, but then that would mean they handpicked my pops. But um, I think Cheap and Nerdy hit a pop with them, too. I don't know, but I think they did. So that's pretty awesome. If you decide to check out this company, tell them I sent you. <laughs> you know? Um, I'll link them down below. You can tell them that uh, Mama J sent you over there. Wow. All right. That's actually pretty awesome. Yeah. So I got my Galactic Toys box that showed up four months late with pops we already had and some expired cereal. Oh, boy. <laughs> and then we got, um, actually... 15... Yeah, but... Nine... Nothing for our nine, collection. Two. That's okay, though, because this will be Hollywood Funko money. <laughs> um, and these will go up for trade, but yeah, actually nothing for our collection. But I'm not complaining, because that pop made it all worthwhile. Wow, I'm, i i got to go call the Funko representative. I guess that's how you throw a trophy. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, wow. Okay, so we will... I, I'm still in shock. You sure you I think I need to go buy lottery tickets. I've hit two decent pops in the last few days. Well, go buy a lottery ticket. I might have to go buy so a lottery ticket. So I can get my ticket. Planet Argyle Vegeta. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll trade, you know, for one of those and even swap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Argyle Vegeta. Definitely. Yeah, I, I mean, normally I wouldn't trade high value pops, but, you know, if you want to trade. A Jack Jack or even this one for that I do it. <laughs> but um Ariel. Ariel, <laughs> yeah, look at and she doesn't have her flippers. <laughs> She's flipper free. Um, all right guys, we will see you in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell.